thing. Hi friends, uh, due to lack of time, whatever it might be, I'm recording it from my uh, van, so don't uh, or SUV, so don't think uh, my location. So uh, look at the content or listen to the content. So why do American companies uh, choose Indians as a CEOs? This is a topic. I think I'm not sure whether I covered this topic or not. But I have emailed to a couple of Americans, displaced Americans and uh, unemployed Americans and then Americans like uh, ex-colleagues or whoever, peers, right? And then Indians. So these many people, I email one topic and uh, get the uh, answers, exchange information and also I do my own uh, investigation or uh, research, whatever you call. I am not an attorney, I am not a journalist point clear i'm like you and i don't support anybody i only gathering information and giving it to you. it is up to the viewers to decide right uh, leave the comments or subscribe or whatever share the point is why do american companies choose the indians as a ceos so some wrote uh, about uh, microsoft ceo and google ceo and uh, and another sent an email from West Coast saying that uh, don't encourage uh, such comments, whatever. Because brother and sisters and everyone out there, we are living in a democratic country called America, India, right? If you feel you have freedom, then write on the open comments without attacking anyone in person. Point one. Point two, you don't need to get offended or something. And a lot of information is there on online. You have to do research and I'm just uh, putting my analysis, my views, whatever I gather from everyone. Indians working in, for example, Google or Microsoft full time, they think that uh, those companies are great. What they do not know is, if suppose uh, you are joining there as a subcontractor with multiple layers. So don't argue that why I join like that. So it's, it's happening, right? So such subscribers also told me that uh, they are not getting paid and the employer, they, his employer is located in Michigan. So he drive from California to Michigan to beg salaries. Can you imagine? The client is your employer only. There is a crime behind every client, every company. You have to open your eyes. You are blindfolded. That's why you don't know. That's one point clear. Next point. Uh, subcontractors own and they most of the companies and clients they violate uh, US laws. Uh, they do not violate H1B rules but they why don't they hire Americans? Why are they hiring Indians? So this point you should get a goosebump, right? So somebody, my ex-colleague uh, came from India to Seattle and then he is working there. I don't want to name the client name. He told Kumar, I am working till 2 a.m. but no OT like that whatever. As you know, America laws and immigration laws fail, nothing can be done. So I didn't uh, advise him anything. That's one. Next point, uh, it is easy to tell in uh, Telugu because Americans already know uh, about uh, Indians, right? So uh, the thing is, for example, American CEO, then he may uh, go by flight or uh, helicopter for certain uh, distance of the journey, whatever. But whereas Indian, they prefer local bus, local train or a train, bus or a car. So they don't uh, waste that, uh, uh, I don't say waste, but they don't uh, have that uh, American uh, uh, raised, brown, raised and uh, brown up culture is different, Indians is different, right? We are mostly from poverty country and uh, we also, it is not simply like that. Example to quote from Infosys CEO, uh, Eric Sivanar and Murthy. He told the driver, don't come on uh, Saturday. Then uh, he went to work by a bus. So he, many people do not have that ego feeling. Uh, like uh, the man is by themselves. So, the, But in, as in American culture, uh, like example to quote, I'm not criticizing any culture, remember? We don't mind living with seven people, 15 people in one room or one bedroom apartment. Because we don't know what is privacy in India, but in America, they prefer one one person, one room, so they don't like it. 